European gold confiscation scheme unfolds. European Parliament approves use of gold as collateral, according to their press release. Yesterday's unanimous agreement by the European Parliament's Committee on Economic and Monetary Affairs, ECON, they go by, to allow central counterparties to accept gold as collateral under the European Market Infrastructure Regulation, EMIR, another word for king, is further recognition of gold's growing relevance as a high-quality liquid asset. Yeah, of course. You know, the history of this is they outlawed gold for a while. They tried to bring in fiat money, which was as good as gold. And now that they've discovered that the fiat money is bogus, they've got two paths of diverging. Number one, they are remonetizing gold. They're trying to bring it back into the system. But they're using all the fiat money that they created willy-nilly to use that to acquire the gold of various states, like Greece, for example which has 111 tons of gold. They've been told now that this gold can be used to settle the debts that they themselves did not incur. These are debts that were foisted upon them from outsiders. And now that they can't pay the debts that they had nothing to do in creating, the outsiders are saying, well, we'll take the gold. Gee, that's a really great deal. This is, of course, to get the gold of Greece, Spain, and Italy and Portugal. Greece has 111 tons, Portugal has 382 tons, Spain has 281 tons, and Italy has 2,451 tons. Ooh, doggy!